What is up everybody? Resale Rabbit here. I bought this pallet of customer returns and warehouse damage items. You know, things are gonna have a little box damage. Uh, they were from Amazon and it cost me $85.71. I actually bought this along with six other pallets about a month ago, but I've been very busy with the Toys R Us liquidation, so I haven't actually been able to get to these until now. I am doing unboxing videos. You are watching the unboxing video. I am very frustrated. So, if you've been watching live, this is my third attempt at this video. It was not holding a connection, it was dropping, so I went to Best Buy and bought a very powerful router, the Nighthawk X6, I believe it was called, and that didn't help at all. So I went back to Best Buy and now spent another $300 and bought this, Google Wi-Fi. This thing, I got one of these over there on the modem. I've got another one about 10 feet that way. I've got another one about 15 feet that way. So hopefully that finally solves the problem. Anyways, so I bought pallets. This is one of them, and I'm going to show you what's in it. In this video, I'm actually going to tell you where I got this pallet, as well as the other six. Uh, normally, I don't share my sources, but I was asked about 100 million times. That's not an exaggeration. I counted them. There were 100 million comments. True story. Anyways, um, I'm not going to be buying from this company anymore. It's nothing against the company. I'm very happy with it. In fact, I tried to buy a full truckload of these, but unfortunately, shipping was just too much. They're coming out of California and going all the way across the country is expensive. They quoted me like $9,000 to ship it. I honestly don't know how they got these here cheaper or so cheap because these seven pallets cost me less to have shipped from California to Wisconsin than three pallets cost from Minneapolis to Wisconsin, which is like four hours away. So anyways, we are going to go in. Let me show you exactly what this looks like. And that's my finger, by the way. Here we go. So here is the pallet. Lots of stuff and things in it. Uh, the pallet is 40 by 48 inches, and it's about four feet tall. So, someone says, third time's a charm, is it three strikes and you're out? Um, kind of. If this doesn't work, then I won't be doing a live video. I will just be recording it and uploading it, and it's going to be not fun because I won't be able to answer questions. I am plugging my phone in because these streams really take a toll on battery life. So let's hope this goes through. Uh, people are saying that this is better, better stream. Awesome, I am glad. So if this works out, I will probably be doing a review on this thing because I've spent, what, $600 now today? And hopefully we're, we're working now. I also did call Spectrum and will be increasing my service to, I think, 200 megabits per second. Hopefully that helps, but they can't do that today. They have to actually come in and upgrade the system and everything. So that will help maybe future videos. But at the very least, I think it's not a speed issue. It's a connection issue. Anyways, we are getting way off topic. Stick around to the end of the video. I will show you where I got these pallets and I will show you a discount code that I was able to get for you. Um, if you don't want to watch all this and this isn't the live version, you're watching the replay, just, just you can just skip ahead. So, moving on, we've got, I've showed you this three times now, a leg pillow to elevate your legs, to make sleeping easier, I guess. I don't know, someone said in a previous video that this is also used for adult activities, which is why I'm glad it is in plastic. So we've got this, I don't know, maybe worth a buck. We've got, I don't even need to look at what it is, I know what it is, a balance disc cushion. You balance on it for exercising, it, I opened the box, it looks fine. It seems like something Steve Rakin would have. So Steve, if you're watching this, let me know. I'll send it to you, you can replace your trampoline. Does Steve even have a trampoline anymore? I don't know, that was a big thing for a little while. So, balance cushion, worth probably five bucks or so. I, I don't exercise, so I really wouldn't know. Next, we've got one, two, three, Four, and I think that's it on top here, four, yes, four of these. These are straw dispensers, like you'd see in a restaurant when you need a straw, they are a clear acrylic. I found two in another pallet and they were both broken, 
Although this one does not look broken. It's obviously not packaged very well, but I've got four of those. I really don't know if I'll even be able to sell them. I, I have no clue. Uh, the two that were broken were just cracked. They are still usable, but again, I don't know if they'll even be able to sell. I can't imagine these are much more than 10 or 15 bucks brand new. In any event, they, they exist. We've got a hot dog costume for your wiener dog. How cute is that? Um, so yeah, there's that. You know, I forgot to put a bunch of boxes over here so I can actually stack this stuff in it. And since we're doing a live stream, I can't just pause the video and do that. So I'm gonna end up making a big mess over here. Next box we've got, oh, this is another one of those acrylic straw holders and multi regurgitating nuts. I'm totally pronouncing that wrong. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but anyways, some sort of face cream. I think that might be the French version of extra firming night. So, multi-regurgitating nut. That's maybe a dollar, assuming it hasn't been open. We've got, oh, found a whole bunch of these on another pallet. Here is another one. It is a Doctor Who Bluetooth speaker. And these are all brand new, still factory sealed. However, there's some box damage. You can see it's kind of cracking here and there. But nonetheless, I uh, should be able to get about 10 bucks for this. There are also uh, several where there's two of them in the box, which I should be able to get 20. We've got, oh, this is neat, an acrylic double baseball display. I would buy this for myself if I collect baseball autographs. I, I do collect autographs, but I'm not a baseball fan, although I did meet Mike Trout once and have a ball signed by him. Only one, though. We've got some raffle tickets. Looks like a roll. Indiana Ticket Company. Uh, I don't know. Probably put in the dollar sale. Get a buck for it. Who knows? We've got some pot. I mean a pot. And this actually doesn't go to it. So we've got a lid for a pot. And this, I know what this is simply because I found another one in the box. This is an insert for a rice cooker and some children's, this seems like not a good idea, sleep aid for children. I didn't realize they made that. Uh, anyway, this is a handle for something. I'm thinking it's for those walk covers. If you've been watching the other video, I found a couple of those with no lids. Moving on, I've got this, Outward Hound, Raise the Wolf. I like that, Raise the Wolf. I believe this is, you wear it like this and you put your little dog in it and to carry it around like a child for people who do that. We've got breast milk storage bags. So yes, there's that. We've got a Funko Pop for Harry Potter. Again, boxes, all these, the boxes have been messed up, however, there are two types of collectors, some that want the box and everything to be pristine, they're not going to want this. But there are also people who will throw away the box and just display the figure, and it's perfectly fine for them. And we've got, was this a fitness tracker? Up by Jawbone. Sleep better, move more, eat smarter. Well, I do want to sleep better, but I'd rather move less. And my version of eating smarter is probably different than theirs. Anyways, so a fitness tracker, it is an open box but odds are they returned it because it didn't fit or something like that. Those are worth about 10, 15 bucks. We've got another Jensen portable CD player. We've got a, an inflatable fire hydrant. So that's interesting. I don't know why you would want an inflatable fire hydrant. Maybe you're trying to fool the fire department, but that could really backfire on you if your house catches on fire. Next, we've got Two more, well, an empty card for one, and these high-performance amplifiers. If you didn't see yesterday's video, I found like 30 or 40 of these. These are excellent on eBay, 25 to 35 bucks each on eBay. If you don't believe me, look up this model number. T is in Tom, S is in Sarah, dash, 1132, UV is in ultraviolet, dash, D. I'm not even on camera there. 
Look that up. You will see what these are selling for on eBay, 20 to $25. And this is the same thing, just a different, slightly different package design. Of course, this is just a piece of cardboard, so I'm sure the actual thing is in here somewhere. All right, we've got an empty box for an otter box and a full box for an otter box. Do not recommend selling these on eBay because OtterBox does go after people who do, and if they succeed, you could lose your eBay account. It's called a Vero or V-E-R-O. Don't recommend selling these. They are very highly counterfeited, and especially considering this came on an Amazon pallet, it could be a counterfeit anyways. So I'm gonna send this to a local auction. According to this, it fits an iPhone 5, so, and it's pink camouflage. So maybe I'll get a few bucks for that. We've got, now, because I found this on another pallet, I know what this is. This is the magic rings where you can hook them together and take them apart. Someone said to look them up. Sometimes they go for good money. These, not so much. They're like 15 bucks on eBay. So I'm just going to send them to a local auction because I really don't feel like listing that. I've got, ooh, a car mug that you plug in. I would never need this because A, I don't drink coffee, and B, I have a Yeti, which works just as well, but you don't have to plug it in. But somebody will buy this. Although the box is in pretty rough shape. We've got a toner cartridge, off-brand. Let's see if it's even open. I always check these when I get them to see if I can use them for my printers. But beyond that, there's really no value. And it is still factory sealed inside. So uh, we'll put it in the dollar sale, see if I can get a dollar for it. For anyone wondering who has not been following, I sell the contents of these pallets in three ways. Number one, most commonly, I sell it with a local auction. They do all the work and sell it for me. Number two, I sell it on eBay. Only higher value items or items where, I have a, where I'm really deep in. And number three, I open up the warehouse once every two to three months to the public and sell everything for a dollar. That way I don't need to price it. Next, we've got paint set, I guess, sidewalk chalk paint. So there's that. I have no idea what that would be worth, maybe 10 bucks. Oh, we've got lacrosse technology. Uh, I'm assuming this is a receiver for a thermostat. Wireless sensor below this panel inside box. Obviously it's not really in the box, but this is probably gonna be garbage. But if we find the other parts, you know, maybe I can sell it. We've got a school bus. Found another one of these in a different pallet. Should get about a buck for it. Uh, and this one is cracked right here. So you're not going back to school with that. Billy Madison will go home. We've got an empty poly mailer and it actually hasn't been used yet. It's still got the adhesive strip. So I'm gonna set this aside and possibly use it for eBay. That'll save me about three pennies. Next, we've got a Halloween costume, a Star Trek Halloween costume. I know I just offended all of you. That was a joke, move on. So that will go with the Halloween costumes. What do we have here? Chef hats. So that's kind of neat. Let's uh, pull them out, see how they look. All right. Oh, it doesn't fit me. So, there we go. I am now a licensed and certified chef because I've got the hat. So, um, anybody want me to cook for them? No, I'm gonna throw it away. It doesn't even fit me. I had to kind of tear the back to get it on. Maybe I just have a big head. But in any event, there are 99 in this box since I used one. Moving on, those lights really, my camera does not like those lights. Let me just go down a little bit. I'm trying to fix the camera here so you don't see the glare from it, but that means I gotta stand all the way back here. Anyways, what is this? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bottles, nine according to that, maybe I miscounted, of Jergens Natural Glow Medium to Tan Skin Tones. Um, these are four ounce bottles. I had a bunch of 7.5 ounce bottles, like a hundred of them that are like eight bucks each at Walmart. These are four ounce, so they're probably going to be half that, probably three or four bucks each at Walmart. So they will go in the dollar sale for a dollar piece. All right, we've got what appears to be a animal bed that's missing some stuff. What else is in here? 
Black Crusade core book for Warhammer role play. Some of these things, I've never heard of this, but Dungeons and Dragons books can be worth really good money. I've sold some upwards of $50, $60 used. My head is cut off again, but that's the only way I can do it without that glare from the light. The book has a loose binding. So you can see here the binding has come off, which would be why it was returned. However, if this is a valuable book, someone, there are, there are people who wouldn't really care about that. Let's quick look it up. And of course, it's covered with a label, the barcode, and I'm not gonna peel that off here. Let's see if we can search it simply by picture. I know with the Amazon app, you can take a picture of an item and it will look it up. You can do the same with the eBay app, but it does not work all that well. This book is $47.96 new used about 20 bucks that is on amazon i probably won't be selling this book on ebay or amazon obviously but i probably won't sell it on ebay simply because it is damaged i'll probably only get like 20 bucks by the time i ship it pay fees and everything it's gonna be about 10. but it will go in the auction all right we've got another one of those amplifiers for the tv and i think this is an empty box or no it is not no this is a replacement belt kit for a knife and tool sharpener and i can see why this came back the box had something spill on it so this is a, probably a new item that just has some box damage we've got a sound head unit for a car let's pull this out of the bag here the brand is dual so that's kind of an off brand but that doesn't look too bad looks pretty nice unfortunately it is missing the um, wiring harness but it might still be usable without in any event it's at least worth five bucks moving on we've got a weird pizza shaped pillow so i'm not quite sure what that would be for we've got a jensen cassette player It'll go nicely with the CD player. We've got, ooh, a phone. Droid Incredible 2. Let's see if it is in the box. It is in the box. It does look used, though. You can see some nicks around the edges there. And obviously, the fact that the box is open, it's not something you can really sell as new. It's got the charger in with it. And let's see if I can get this box closed. It is an older Android phone but i would assume i can still get five bucks for it if it works it is on verizon which is very easy to check to see if the esn is clear meaning whether or not it can be activated we've got another one of these little hummingbird drones these things are so cheap i can almost guarantee you that that is defective what else is in here we've got a two-piece broiler pan that does appear to be new we can take this plastic off. Nordic Ware is the brand. Two-piece broiler pan. I don't see any damage to it at all. No dents. This is the type of thing that would usually be in here because it's dented. But this one, ah, oh, you can see a little tiny ding right there. Won't affect performance. And you really got to be looking for it to see it. And that could just be a manufacturer defect. It's up for a couple bucks. All right, we've got another Doctor Who speaker set. Now this one's worth more than the others because it has the TARDIS. The TARDIS alone goes for like 50 bucks on eBay. This one, worth note, has been opened though. So I will have to test this out. I hear something rattling around in there. That could just be a piece of packaging or something. This should be, if it works, about 50 bucks because as the TARDIS, it would be 20 to 25 if it did not. All right, I've got more breast milk bags and a little tiny pitcher. So this is for really small people who want to fill it with tea or juice. Or maybe you regular sized people can use it for syrup. Who knows? You can pretend you're at a diner with your syrup. This is holy crap. I'm gonna need to wait on that because that is gonna be heavy. So we've got another hair styling storage chest, new in the box. 
we've got, let's come over here. Oh, uh, what is this? The Twilight Zone, an airplane from the Twilight Zone, and a Funko Pop figure for Disney. We've got two boxes of stain remover. I don't think stain remover is going to expire. I don't see a date on it anywhere. There's a batch code, but no date. I can't imagine stain remover will expire. We've got the Flash, a collectible figure. And the box actually isn't in bad shape. Couple of little creases, but nothing much. We've got, what in the world is this? I have no idea. A luxury charging pedestal for your phone. Interesting. So, or not for your phone, for like a, I don't know if it's compatible with any watch, but for some sort of smart watch. Trident Valet for Apple Watch. There you go. So a luxury charging pedestal for your Apple Watch. When the regular charging pedestal is for the peasants, you get this. That might be something worth looking up on eBay. You never know. This box has certainly seen better days. This appears to have once been an iPod dock. It is empty, but I mean, it easily could have fallen out. It does have the remote. So I'm just gonna set the remote aside and this thing is gonna get thrown away. We've got another one of these little drone remote control hummingbird things. It's not a drone, but similar in concept. Well, let's see what we've got here. We've got Small World, some expansion for a game, and cards are falling out. So, so there's that, Small World. Well, I'll just set that on top. We've got a Minecraft phone case for the iPhone 6, and some more of these figures or game pieces, collectible figures for Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know where I've been putting those. I'm actually setting these aside for somebody. I'm just gonna put it right there on the table. All right, now we've got, uh, this is for making cakes. So, dropping stuff, metal salt and pepper shakers. And here, this is what I was talking about when I found, I don't know where, when, when I found the handle, it was for this. This is a lid for a walk, missing the handle. A whole bunch of them have been coming in on pallets that way, so at least I've got one lid. All right, what do we have here? We've got, I don't know what this is. A Tablecraft one ounce wide mouth maxi pump. So that really doesn't tell me anything. I'm gonna throw it in the dollar sale and let the buyer decide what it is. And this is probably some sort of Halloween costume. No, it's a snuggle puppy. So some sort of blanket, I guess. I'm not sure. Uh, we've got a Rescue Heroes costume right here. Okay, again, I know that's Power Rangers. Shut up. Um, let's see. We've got another Dungeons and Dragons figure set and a, an empty box for a portable charger. We've got one, two, three, four, and five more of these. This should be about a hundred bucks in my hands right here on eBay. Easy peasy. All right, we've got some cords for something. Here we go, we've got a whole bunch of cords here. I wonder, if these will connect to this guy. No, it does not appear so. So these are all cords for something. We'll have to figure out what for. I've got a little hole saw. I don't know what this was supposed to be, but whatever this goes to is missing. Echo Master, if that means anything to you. Uh, so there's that. And an otter box with no packaging. In fact, that very well might be what this was from. 
Uh, Galaxy S4, does it say on here what it goes to? It does not. So, I am going to just put these together and pretend that's what it goes to. And then these random cables I will just set aside. Moving on, we've got a giant lid for a pot and an empty bag. So this is like for a series. This is for like a pan that I would use to make mac and cheese because I love me some mac and cheese. So I'll set that aside. I am so happy that this stream is still going and going strong. Can you guys see everything all right? Because this is doing so well, I am recommending this. These things are working wonders. So the Google Wi-Fi, home Wi-Fi system by Google. I bought this at Best Buy for like $260 or something like that. And it seems to be working. All right, can I get this big box out yet? No, I cannot. We've got a cassette player. This is the ONN brand, I think, uh, or OWN, or however you pronounce it. Walmart brand. What is this? This is rope. That looks like that's just what it is, rope. Have you ever seen Boondock Saints? Get your stupid rope. Of course, I'm censoring that. One of my favorite scenes in any movie ever is the rope scene, the Boondock Saints. Oh, we've got rope. All right. Moving on. We've got a horse ball. There's a 40 inch ball for horses to play with. Those might be worth a few bucks. Wireless charge. Oh, this is genuine Samsung wireless charging pad. So, uh, I don't know if it's in there. Yes, it is. So I will do some research. I feel like this is going to be expensive but I have no idea. So, moving on. We've got, what in the world is this? It goes into a light bulb socket. I have no idea. Some sort of light bulb. And an aquarium thermostat. In the oh, you know what this is? This is probably a heater for a thermostat that goes into an aquarium, if I were to guess. I will keep those together. By the way, the heat lamp bulb that I got in the last one worked perfectly fine. I would have thought for sure that wouldn't have worked. Who returns a light bulb? All right, so we've got another one of these color changing mugs um, for Ghostbusters. When you put your hot coffee in it, it says who you're gonna call. And this is Jim Shore. I don't know what that is. All right, this is a decorative little trinket, and it appears to be broken. I think these wings were supposed to come off of it. So that is going to be junk because it is, in fact, broken. Moving on, we've got a, an automatic card shuffler. We've got, I guess, a camera case. Cameras or whatever you want to put in it. We've got a case pack of Funko Pops, and they all came off of the cards. They are in there, or at least there's some in there. There's one Dracula in there. I have found so many of these that have fallen off of the packaging. Like, all of them have fallen off the packaging, but I found a lot of them. Moving on. Grab some stuff. This is, I don't know what this is. Lockjaw Powder Snow Basket 10 Pair. So, if that means anything to you, that is what this is. We've got stickers. Oh, it's a wrap for a GoPro. And a sink caddy. This hangs on your sink for like a sponge or something. A lot of good dollar sale stuff. I'm seeing on my end this video has a lot of lag. I hope you guys aren't seeing that as well. Uh, let's see. What else we got in here? Three more boxes of breast milk bags. So I'll probably send these to auction all in one lot. I think that's five now to be found. I am going to open this box a little bit better so I can get to the stuff a little bit easier. This makes it so much easier to get in a box. 
Just don't slice yourself in the process. This part has two layers. All right, now I can get in this box a little bit better. Let's see what some comments are. Video lag, but sound is good. Hopefully the replay doesn't have this lag. I'm kind of seeing it too, but at least you can kind of get an idea of what's going on in here. All right, we've got a phone case for the iPhone 6 Plus. Oh, that is actually an OtterBox case. I didn't realize they made little cases like that. Uh, we've got Dreamlight. These are worth about five to 10 bucks. We've got, uh, I don't know what this is. It's something for a dog. Oh, socks for your dog. Because all dogs need socks. We've got, oh, that bag is open, stuff is falling out, and things, and everything. A whole bunch of these little plastic bottles. All right, what else do we have in here? We have what appears to be an old router. It's all yellowed, so that's probably just going to end up going in the scrap pile, but you never know. A whole bunch more of these things. Let me grab a box here. Oh, tripping over wires. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, right there, uh, uh, almost dropped it, right there's like 200 bucks, uh, a little cuff for a blood pressure monitor, I'm going to just put that on the floor here, we've got some sort of power cord or something for an Apple product, um, oh this is a router isn't it, airport, Apple airport thing, Plugs right into the wall. There's the cord. Not worth much. I've sold these, but I only got like 10, 15 bucks for them before. By the way, if you're just joining me and you're wondering why you're not seeing the top of my head, it's because if I point the camera any higher, the lights overhead are going to cause a major glare on the screen. All right, we've got another one of these guys, the amplifiers. Also, if you're just joining me, skip to the end of the video. Well, you can't do that when it's live because it hasn't happened yet, but I will be giving you the source for this along with a discount code. I've got a Star Wars figure. We've got wheels for, I believe these are for a walker. Maybe Paul Walker, maybe Walker Texas Ranger, some sort of walker could use those wheels. We've got a card shuffler. We've got, oh goody, another box of breast milk bags. So that's I think six of those now. A giant water bottle, two quart water bottle. It feels like something that you would get at Dollar Tree. We've got just empty boxes. Auto Tune Effects 3. That's what T Pain uses. All right, this is wrapped carefully in paper. What is it? I have no idea. A wheel for something. I don't know, maybe it goes. Maybe it goes to a juicer because I've seen a lot of juicer parts in these. All right, we've got another amplifier for the TV. We've got, whoops, we've got, bring it up, instant breast lifts. All right then. And this is, and that was attached to what appears to be a charging station. Here we go, for an Xbox One. So somebody, needs to charge their Xbox One controllers while giving themselves a lift because they were together in one package. That is a very specific customer. This is, oh, that's kind of neat. The box is utterly destroyed, but it's a car clock as your gauge is right there. What else do we have in here? Empty packaging. Oh, I actually found this in another pallet. So that I will not throw away. Another cuff for a blood pressure monitor. Another cuff for a blood pressure monitor. And here are the juicer parts. 
the, well, some of it. So I guess they must have just come out of the box. All right, we've got another cuff for a blood pressure monitor. We've got a wireless charging pad. It looks like an off-brand one. And an empty box for an OtterBox. Oh, this excites me. Some packaging and GoPro stickers. Maybe there's a GoPro in there. Here is the instructions for that head unit for a car that we found earlier. Let's see what else we've got down here. We've got another one of these weird things. Uh, there's a bag of them around here somewhere. Two more blood pressure monitor cuffs, uh, baby stuff. This might be the cord for that head unit, which is buried, so I'm just gonna set it there. And wine charms. So I guess the wine can have jewelry as well. All right, digging down further, we've got more breast milk bags. We've got another GoPro wrap to put a design on your GoPro. We've got another part of that radio. Empty box for a spatula or packaging and a cuff for a blood pressure monitor. All right, digging deeper. Another cuff for a blood pressure monitor. Another one of these amplifiers. We've got some salad tongs, some paper, and uh, some sort of dress up thing, dreamy dress ups. A lot of dollar sale items in here, but there is some good quality stuff. I mean, these things alone, I'm probably up to four or five hundred dollars in these, just on this pallet alone. Holy crap, this is exactly what I need. A giant strainer for my giant batch of mac cheese. This is actually pretty heavy. This is kind of neat. So when I make my giant batch of mac and cheese in my giant pan, I've got the giant strainer. Now I just need a bowl that will accommodate this. Set that down there. All right, oh, here we go, here we go. An iPod, there's a freaking iPod in here. I did not expect that. This is, I don't know what generation it is, it does have the camera on the back, the model is a1320, this thing looks brand new. There's a little bit of scratching, but not much. It does not appear to be powering on, but it's probably just a dead battery. So we've got an iPod Nano right here. I, I think that's the Nano. Uh, probably good 50 bucks at least, maybe 100. You know what, this one I'm gonna look up. I wish it would say the size on it, like old iPods used to. Let's look this guy up. Apple, whoa, too many A's. Apple, what did I say? A1320, 1320. This is pre owned, $49.99. Let's look at sold listings. Uh, let's see, 75 bucks one sold for, 51, 81, 49. So, quite the spread here. I think condition is going to matter, and the fact that this looks brand new. Assuming it works, I'm thinking this will be about 60 to $70. Uh, we've got a Samsung wireless charger, as well as a Crotech wireless charger. I think I'm pronouncing that right. All right, continuing down in the box, we've got this looks like part of a remote, like the battery cover for a remote. We've got a controller for something, another piece of paper, another one of these mysterious things, an empty piece of plastic, another piece of plastic. That was a fun handful. All right, some more digging. There we go, we found what that remote goes to. It does not have a brand on it. Um, it's probably for a sound bar. It's got the Bluetooth, volume and whatnot. Here's the other half of it. So we will be able to look up the model. I'm not sure what it goes to, but it's here. Another one of these guys, another GoPro wrap, 
and some random wheels. And I am getting a phone call. I will ignore that for now. So I will set this stuff aside. I'm digging right at the bottom here, right where I found the iPod. But I'm digging there because of these GoPro stickers. I want to see if there's a GoPro in there. This is something. Sunglasses case, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, this is wrapped up nicely in paper. I am assuming this goes with that juicer stuff. We've got Dracula. Put that with the missing ones. We've got, oh, a, a brand new cell phone. This is an upgrade from some people's phones. Um, unfortunately, I have an iPhone, so this is not an upgrade. We've got another cup for a blood pressure monitor and breast milk bags. All right. Let's see what else we've got. This is digital thermometer. We've got the software for some auto effects. Where did I throw that? Here we go. Auto tune effects. I don't know if this is worth anything, but probably not. We've got uh, part of a sling, sling box, sling turbo, or sling link turbo W1. I'm not sure if this needs any other parts. Uh, that is for watching stuff on TV. We've got a very heavy duty lock here. Uh, is this a lock or not? I'm not quite sure if this is a lock or not, or if it's just a clip that I can't figure out. But either way, I've got that. We've got, ooh, these are usually really good on eBay, a Sony wireless transmitter. Uh, let's look this up. EZW, let's get back in here, EZW dash T100, T100. All right, so this, whoa, hold up. Let me look at solds. Holy crap. All right, I got to show you this. This thing right here, the Sony transmitter. I'm going to flip you around so you can see this. All right, right here, sold $175, $129, 150 and 100 Active, if we go into active listings, some of them are as high as 225, 325. So 174.94 would make me the lowest price here. I was not expecting that. I've sold these before, but smaller ones. So I bought uh, several pallets once and there were a ton of uh, display models for sound bars and subwoofers and they were all mostly junk. They had like holes in them where they had them screwed to the counter and everything. And I ended up scrapping most of them. But I took all of these out and I was getting like 20 bucks each on eBay for them. That's a lot more than 20 bucks. All right. So, can you guess what these are? More breast milk bags. I've got a lot of these now. We've got a Star Wars figure. This is the juicer pieces that I've been pulling out. That's the instructions for them. My phone just vibrated. All right. Next, we've got a space capsule tea infuser. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? We've got, which is probably packaging for the strainer, hard shuffler. These are worth about five bucks each. Another one of these little remotes. I'm not quite sure what they go for, but I have seen it before. It might be for that. Uh, little hummingbird flying thing. We've got Janus du Coup, or an extra firming neck. So there's a neck in here, an extra firming neck. Moving on, we've got, I think this is a pillow pet. Pillow pets, a dog, or a hippo maybe, I'm not quite sure. Next we've got, a fanny pack. So I just need some white knee socks and some cargo shorts and I can go to Disney World. And this is the box for a car mount and a cuff for a blood pressure reader. 
Well, I don't think we're going to find a GoPro in here. Oh, that's interesting. We'll get to that in a second. More baby stuff. Empty card for one of those amplifiers and another blood pressure cuff. This, that is my phone. This is something else. This looks like an MP3 player. Kobe is the brand. Um, eight gigabyte MP3 player. It's got a camera on it. Believe it or not, these do sell for okay money. I would assume I'd probably get 30 bucks for that. Digging out some more here. We've got an empty box. We've got more baby stuff. This pile is getting really big here. Another one of those amplifiers and some sort of makeup. Ah, is it broken? No, that's the lid, but it does appear used. Larger than life long wear eyeliner. It appears used, so I am going to throw it away for health concern. All right, we've got a lightsaber. I love Star Trek, one of my favorite movies. All right, this is, uh, this I know what this is. It's a receiver for one of those hummingbird helicopter things. Digging some more. We've got more of these, easily a buck a piece. And another one of those amplifiers. All right, let's see if I can get this big heavy box out now. That is still too heavy to get out, but you're gonna like what's in there. All right, some more stuff. We've got, uh, looks like the fishing, fishing lures or jewelry making items. Let's open up the bag and see if we can figure that out. Fishing lures, a whole bunch of fishing stuff. That does really well on the auction. So brand new fishing stuff. Looks like there might even be a knife in there of some sort. We've got more of those juicer parts. We've got, and there goes a card shuffler. We've got a blood pressure cuff, a bowl, microwave cooking only, and more juicer parts. Those juicer parts actually sell decent on eBay. If I can find the full set, it's like 50 bucks. Continuing on, and there goes the microwave bowl. We got one, two, three, four more boxes of breast milk bags. Be set for life on those. We got one, two, three, four, five more of these TV amplifiers. So this should be another hundred bucks on eBay. We've got. Dracula and some Pop Blocks farm animals. Melissa and Doug is a good toy brand though. I think those will probably sell pretty well locally in the auction. All right, oh, another TV amplifier. And there's a note inside, AI too well. Don't know what that means. Moving on here. What is in this? So we get a Star Wars figure and hotel phone. Interesting. This is unexpected. Huh. So let me get this out of the packaging here. It's an old phone. But I don't think it's old. I think this is probably like a replica or remake. I'm looking to see if there's a date on it. I do not see a date, but it doesn't look that old. You never know. Maybe it's worth something. Let's look it up. Model 2510E. 2510E phone. It, I suppose it would help if I could spell phone correctly. And brand new, they're about 25 bucks on eBay, so nothing too fancy. I'm not even gonna bother listing this on eBay for 25 bucks because it's gonna cost me at least 10 to ship it. Anyways, it will go in the auction. We've got another card shuffler. I'm starting to run out of table space here. 
Well, let's see. Another one of these amplifiers, and I'm just going to climb into this box. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 11 more of those phone amplifiers, which are going to bring me uh, about 20 bucks each, so that's another $220. We get two more empty cards for Dracula and another valet luxury charging pedestal for the Apple Watch. Also appears to have been, oh, maybe that is sealed. I think this is factory sealed. Um, I will have to look a little bit closer to see if this is factory sealed, but I bet this is worth some decent money. There we go. Another fitness tracker. The Up 2, which is right there. So, Up 2, Up 2, no good. Uh, ooh, what is this? What is this? What is this? Blue sync time, a little Bluetooth clock. Looks like it doesn't do anything fancy besides charging your phone and being a clock. Probably plays music via Bluetooth. And there's another one. So there's that. This is an empty box for something. This is also, uh, looks like an album for Baseball cards. Empty, of course. Uh, move some stuff over. We've got an electric kettle. Nice stainless steel one. We've got a toner cartridge with no packaging. That'll probably just get recycled. One, two, three, four. Five, six more of those phone amplifiers, or TV amplifiers. Scratch that, seven. Oh, my bad, eight. You know, I don't mind having a ton of these because these are actually really good money. Eight more of those. We've got two more boxes of breast milk bags. Uh, all right, now, for the moment, We've all been waiting for the big heavy box. Ugh. This box has to be about 60 pounds. Oh, that box is heavy. All right, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. However, it is an entire box full of these Ghostbusters color changing mugs. Just on top here, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And it goes three layers deep. So I've got 66 of these here. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. I may just drop them all off at a consignment store and see what they can sell them for. But at the same time, the consignment store is going to take half. So if they sell for two bucks, I only get a dollar. At that point, I might as well just put it in the dollar sale. Either way, in the dollar sale, in which I'm sure all of these will sell, that's $66, which almost pays for the pallet alone. Oy. And it's very heavy. So, there's that. That was the big heavy box. Got a few more things in here. Oh, wow. How this is not broken is beyond me. This is a very heavy piece of glass, like a dish or something. It's actually kind of nice. I don't know what it goes to. I'm gonna put it where it's not gonna fall over. We've got, silly, it's not a bottle, it's a squeezy. So I guess some sort of drinking container for children. Another card shuffler. I am really running out of space to put this stuff. All right, we've got some 
Doctor. We'll start with another card shuffler. Another one of these little helicopter things that probably doesn't work. We've got a whole bunch of spare parts and things. And assuming this is unused, I should give about 40 bucks for this refrigerator filter. Uh, well, maybe not. I thought it was a GE. Swift Green Filters, SGFW80. Refrigerator filter is always a great thing for eBay. They sell really quick and for decent money. All right, now we're gonna do like yesterday. I'm gonna clean up my mess a little bit and just start filling this table with small stuff. Toss all this trash aside. Start filling the table with small stuff so you can see what's gonna be at the bottom of the box. All right. So, we're digging through here. It looks like a whole bunch of garbage. Like just empty packaging. All right. Oh, lost something here. Okay, let's start with what we've got here. We've got a whole bunch of these baby things. These will all sell well in the dollar sale. Here's another one. Here's another one. I am really running out of space here. We've got a cup for a blood pressure monitor. We've got another TV amplifier, a Star Wars figure, another TV amplifier. Uh, we've got a Ghostbusters mug and the box for it. Should go together something like that. We've got was this, colored pencils, uh, just a phone cord. That'll go on the scrap pile. Oh, uh, was this a pencil, glow stick, something like that. Empty packaging, more baby stuff, and a random bottle. So, let's toss all of this stuff aside. I am gonna have quite the mess clean up here. Next handful. That looks like more empty packaging. got Angel Guard Seat Buckle Safety Guard. There's a dollar. Blood pressure cuff. Empty packaging for something. This is a TV amplifier. I've got a whole bunch of those in here. Um, Ethernet cables and oh, these are always good. These are uh, range extenders. These should get me about 25 to 50 dollars. This is I don't know what the, oh, this is a, a bottle for oil. Not the type of oil that goes in your car, but the type that goes in your food. We've got salt and pepper shakers, more baby stuff. Another TV amplifier. For some reason, three forks. I'm not sure why those are here. Uh, this is uh, an accessory for something. More pacifiers. Three more blood pressure monitor cuffs. A water pick. I know it's used, but someone will still buy it, trust me. Uh, another phone case, another blood pressure monitor cuff, empty plastic, another bottle, and two more of these things. I'm not quite sure what they are. All right, more handfuls. Toss all this stuff right on here. Make it nice and easy. We're just about done here. This is the bottom of the barrel, quite literally. All right. One, two, three more of those TV cable amplifiers. We've got half of a lightsaber. That'll go in, whoops, that'll go in the trash. We've got a TP-Link thing. I don't know, we'll look that up on eBay. Modem or something. Oh, here's the other half of the lightsaber. Blood pressure, cough, Dr. Acula, uh, timer of some sort. Uh, this is, uh, this is another one of those Kobe MP3 players. We'll definitely look that up on eBay. We've got an invisible fence collar. That might be worth a little bit on eBay. And more pacifiers. I'm not sure what that's for. Hardware for something. This is probably for that juicer 
left off. And there it goes. And more forks. Why all the forks? They feel like pretty cheap forks, but they are new. So I'm going to continue to make a mess here. Oh, what is this? Didn't see this. A mesh cap for something. This might be for the juicer. I'm not sure. Manufactured by Omron Healthcare. Oh no, this is for the blood pressure things, I believe. All right, Let's see what else we've got in here. We've got not really anything else that's exciting, but stuff nonetheless. And I'm gonna stab myself. We're just about done here in the final stretch. Oh, I'm just gonna climb in and grab this stuff. Only a few more items here. And this is it. Oops, drop that. Another Dracula. We've got more of these instant breast lifts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight sets of pacifiers. Scratch that. Nine sets of pacifiers. We've got a toothbrush for someone with a very big mouth. Uh, maybe my ex. She's got a big mouth. Um, a lid for something. Microwave cooking, probably for that red bowl we found earlier. This dropped on my foot and almost was painful, but a little spatula. Uh, used pacifier, garbage. We've got a cord for something. A power cord. Uh, another of these Dracula things. A tail for something, another Dracula. Um, a mount for something, another breast lift, another Dracula. Um, this is some sort of makeup. More forks, labels, another Dracula, more forks, and that is it. So, this one, oh, that was at an angle. Let me readjust this. So, this pallet was solid. Uh, these cable TV amplifiers are, I, I probably have seven, eight hundred dollars worth down here. Yes, they take time to sell. But I spent 85 bucks on all this. Well, 135 with shipping. I'm not concerned. All this auction stuff will be gone and sold in a couple weeks. I'll have cash in hand. And all the dollar stuff, dollar sale stuff will sit for a little while. The big winner here is probably going to be this also at about 175 bucks. I don't think there's anything else too exciting in there. But that is what was in pallet number four. Now, the moment you're waiting for, where did I get this pallet? Now, normally, I don't give away my suppliers simply because that's not good for business. However, I'm going to give you this one because I don't plan on buying from them anymore. I mentioned earlier in the video, they're just too far away. Shipping is too expensive for me. They're in California. I'm in the Midwest, the eastern part of the Midwest in Wisconsin. So I was quoted like $9,000 to ship a full truckload. Just crazy expensive. They were able to drop that a little bit through a couple of different shipping carriers, but still was too much. This all came from a company called Blue Lots. Blue like the color, lots like lots. I think, anyways, Blue Lots. Uh, now this company is a marketplace. They sell stuff themselves and they sell stuff from other sellers. And unfortunately there's no way to differentiate which is which. I do know that this came directly from Blue Lots because I was talking with the sales rep. I was able to convince them. I told him that my video had 4 million views well, actually, it was like two million when I talked to them, and I could really help them out and help my subscribers out with a coupon code. So here's what you're gonna wanna do. If you wanna buy from Blue Lots, click the link below. You have to use that link, and then enter the code Resale Rabbit. It's all one word, R-E-S-A-L-E, -E, Rabbit. I'm sure you can figure that out. I sounded like Aretha Franklin there for a second. Uh, enter code Resale Rabbit, you will get a 5% discount. 5% doesn't seem like much, but it's a lot. Usually you don't get much for discounts in this industry. Now, let me pull up the message thread from him. Uh, see if there's anything else that I'm supposed to mention. Um, they do have buyer protection. So if you ever do have an issue, 
they will cover, they will help you out. Blue Lots on a website called Trustpilot, this is the link he sent me, is rated great with 8.6 out of 10 stars. I was very happy with them. I worked with, I don't know if he owns the company or if he's just a sales rep, but I worked with Jesse. Very easy to work with, very happy, and I wish that I could have gotten more of these shipped in an economical way, but unfortunately they're just too far. Now, remember, there's a lot of people watching. At this very moment, there's 543 people watching, and by the end of tomorrow, there will probably be over 10,000 views. At least that's what yesterday's video did. So that means a lot of people are gonna be flooding to bluelots.com. So if you don't see anything good for sale on there, that doesn't mean there's nothing good. Give it a few months, unless you get in really early, like right now, because they're gonna be selling out quick just because of all the people who will be going and checking them out. They do sell, I looked at their website, they sell cases, they sell pallets, they sell truckloads. Uh, you can also contact them if you're looking for anything specific, I would assume, I don't know. I really didn't talk much with the guy. I just asked for a coupon code, but click the link below in the description and then enter resale rabbit at checkout. You'll get 5% off. That is for new customers only. I don't know if I mentioned that he would only give a coupon code for new customers only. So I can't even use it. So that kind of sucks. But anyways, yeah, that's where I got these Amazon pallets. I will probably still buy cases here and there, but I prefer pallets. Uh, pallets tend to be cheaper overall cases. A case might be cheaper than a pallet, but the percentage of retail you're paying and the cost per unit is going to be a lot cheaper on pallets. So that's all I've got for this video. Unfortunately, I don't have time for a q and A. I have to clean up this mess. Yeah, I have to clean up. Like, check this out. I'm going to rotate you over here. Look at this pile right here. That all needs to get organized. Basically, I put an entire pallet of stuff on this table and kind of the floor around here. I have to clean that up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. One last thing, I am not sponsored by Google, but I wish I was because this thing is amazing. If you did miss the beginning, I tried three times to get this live stream going. Both the first two times it died. The first time it would not go. Um, I ended up cutting out after like the first couple of minutes. So I went to Best Buy, spent like $260 on a Nighthawk X6 router. And that didn't help at all because the third stream cut out just as early. But I bought these Google things. You hook one up to your router or your modem and then you put two other ones throughout. I've got one over there and I've got one up there. And it kind of creates a chain of Wi-Fi. This thing, it was like 300 bucks at Best Buy. It is amazing. If you're having Wi-Fi issues as far as reaching a certain area, I highly recommend getting this. I didn't really look to see if it was cheaper on Amazon. I just like buying stuff at Best Buy. Especially because I don't have time to wait for it to get shipped to me. Like, I was trying to do a video here and now. I was about ready to go and buy a laptop so I could do a, like, wired stream and just plug it into the Ethernet. But that would be like a thousand bucks for a new laptop. Because I'm not going to get a cheap one, even though I don't own a laptop right now. But anyways, this is awesome. Highly, highly, highly recommended. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you in the next one.